Welcome back, folks. Evil West Part 3. We're going to skip the cinematic, jump right into it. Pretty much left my thoughts and feelings on the game as we've played along. Cinematics look pretty good. I don't really know what's going on in the game. We've just arrived at the manor. Assuming this is the stronghold, the FOB, home base home sweet home. <laughs> of the agents. I don't actually know the technical organization name for this place. the last time we gathered together in the manor. Mr. Rent here? At ease, boys. My so it seems like we're head honcho. Everyone's giving us the respect. How did it go? Did you get that big fangster you were after? Have a quick squiz around. Oh, okay, a bit of law. They called it a cult. Using real world figures. It, truth was, they were dealing with a terrible outbreak of em Abraham Lincoln. Brain fair here cost me an arm and a leg. Sure hope it's worth it. Anything up here? Your sure looks edgy. More something's up. I can smell. Picked up some box. Mr. Rent here. You remember me? No fucking clue who you are. From my first year of cadet training, I'm the shortest one of the bunch. Yeah, I was saying this. I don't really care. The protagonist hasn't really given us a reason to like him. I'm not saying he's a bad protagonist. And some of my most beloved games like Days Gone hasn't really given us much to go off either. But then Deacon St. John became one of the most likable protagonists for me personally in any video game series that I've played. Heavy as hell. <laughs> It's funny he says that, because I was also saying the movement, while agile, when rolling and dodging, he feels heavy as hell when we're mashing R1 to initiate the combos. Anyway, maybe the old man can give us some insight as to what's going on. Sir. Gravener's with you. He sends his regards. He's afraid you'll try and talk him out of retirement again. I don't believe either of us want that. You know, he did risk his life to get this for you. That's Harrow's trinket. I'm sure you'll both be rewarded accordingly. Edgar isn't some civilian looking for a medal. This is all he knows. Your institute saw to that. My institute? <sighs> this isn't about Agent Gravener, Jesse. We are on the cusp of great progress, great change. Today's presentation is of critical importance to the family. After which... Edgar is family. After which, I expect you to step up to your duties here at the manor. With all due respect, Director, I am a field agent, not a paper pusher. You're a rentier! <sighs> Why must you always make me spoon-feed these things to you, Jesse? There are bigger things at work here than running around in caves slaying beasts. I do believe someday soon you will see it my way. And if you don't, it's my responsibility to force that change. Now, leave me be. I must prepare for the presentation. And send someone in here to clean up this mess. Okay, so we're a chip off the old block. Old man wants us to take over. Head honcho of the agents. Mr. Rendia, Agent Feathers is waiting for you in the lobby. We're not too keen. Wow, look at that. Is that like a loading thing? Yeah, there's... Like, no draw distance. You take a couple of steps back, and that's it. It's just... Heavenly light coming from the doorway. You can actually backtrack, though. That's impressive, considering you couldn't do that for the first hour of the game. So much as cross over a certain part, and there's an invisible wall. You got some holy water for us, boss? You're just in time. The presentation should be starting soon. What do you got for me this time? Ooh. Can finally spend the big bucks on something. 
Weapon upgrades. Use L2 and R2 to navigate between weapon categories. Okay, so revolver upgrades. We got the rifle upgrades and we've got upgrades for something we haven't unlocked. So I think I'm going to do the rifle. No? That's a no? Well, it's not letting me do anything. Okay, here we are. My bad. Alright, uh, we've bought some upgrades. I criticised the combo system. So far, it's just a bunch of mashing R1 and launching enemies up. Yeah, you can incorporate the revolver, but after that, you just follow up with this mid-air Superman punch that you can't even do to all the enemies. And that's pretty much where it stops. Now, if this is pretty much the end of it here, that's the tree. Okay, so the Wolverine Gauntlet Talons are going to get an upgrade at some point. Seems like they're locked for now. And like I said, something else is locked in the weapons category. Guess we'll discover what's there. I've criticized as well that the law is... Uh, it's just pretty uh, uninsightful. So you get this story here about the characters and a story on the infected vessel and et cetera, et cetera. The monsters and the sausages, whatever that word is right there. Sausages, sanguises, fuck, whatever, man. I ain't Latin. Servant sharpshooters, gunslingers. So that's basically everyone we've encountered so far in the previous parts and that's all we get. We don't actually really know what the hell's going on. We know we're an agent for this company, I guess. Are we hired by the government or something? We don't know. You can buy upgrades anytime. Yeah, okay. I'm reading it because I'm giving it a chance to maybe enlighten me on something I might have missed and I'm just criticizing for all the wrong reasons that there's actually this really rich, in-depth backstory, but... Yeah, I'm not quite seeing that. So if the game's not really going to explain what's going on through the cutscenes and the gameplay, then at least you want the uh, gameplay to be quite good. So far I'm not saying it's bad, but so far I'm saying it's feeling pretty stale. Father in all his directorial glory. The artist who painted I'm hoping the we can there? incorporate some Filming more combos cool. as opposed to just he mashing so R1. About those gauntlets. Word came back that he talked about them in a local pub. Okay, okay. I'm gonna skip all the narrations. If you just join me for this part, you haven't seen parts one and two. I'm just gonna briefly pause on the lore, but we're not gonna listen to the entire narration or read the whole thing. Gentlemen, uh, gentlemen, if you'll take your seats. And, uh, <laughs> welcome. Yeah, I'm Assistant Secretary of War, James Harrow. President Cleveland wants you to know how appreciative we are of the vital service the Rentia Institute performs, defending our great country from monsters of all shapes and sizes. He also wanted me to make sure you're not blowing all our money on Mexican Monty. But that's another conversation. <laughs> yes, quite. Well, uh, as I say, keep up the good work. God bless you all, and uh, God bless America. Thank you all for gathering here tonight. It's rare we gather in such numbers, but I believe great progress calls for momentous celebration. Our efforts in the fight against the Sanguisuja's spread have too often been baffled by the creature's most insidious weapon, their so-called glamours. These impenetrable illusions have allowed countless fiends to slip through our grasp for too long. That ends now. Agent Rentier, 
We've upgraded the standard field agent's gauntlet with something our science bods have affectionately named the Zapper. Not exactly an elegant name, but it does the trick. When triggered, the Zapper sends out an electrical impulse that shatters any nearby Sanguizoon glamours forthwith, eliminating what is not and leaving only what is. Once finished, these new gauntlets will be distributed to cells nationwide post haste allowing us to sweep our respective territories for glamoured nooks and crannies. This is the beginning of a new age, gentlemen. Armed with this gauntlet, there is no way our enemy can surprise us. Ambush on cue. And shit. Funny we got Zappa Gauntlets, but homes back then didn't even have electricity. Nor does the mana. I want him to deploy those talons in that gauntlet, bro. Alright. L1 to block. We finally unlocked the block. I've brought this up that there's nothing to do for the L1 button and we just gotta dodge our way out of every attack. Okay. Press L1 button to block. Sweet. Come on. What you got? You serious? You gotta like parry block, it's not just like a constant shield. Oh wow. Okay. I mean, it's crunchy. It's crunchy. And we've just unlocked a new perk. No, have we? All right, that's what we unlocked. It's not like we can unlock something with points. It's an auto unlock. The haptics, the crunch. I'm not liking the reloading of the, uh, the rifle. I feel like it could be a little bit more seamless. I'm always finding myself with an empty chamber. Jesus Christ. I'll break him in that one piece. Zappa can pull enemies. L1 and drag it towards us. Alright. That's pretty neat. Okay, so... An hour later, the combat is still improving. It's getting a little, little fiery. Getting a little tasty. Doesn't seem like this combo can be interrupted by the enemies. But this is going to be pretty short-lived. Still haven't worked out what these do. New perk again. Yeah, that's the zapper pool. Combat's pretty challenging in a boss fight. Only because you can only take like two hits until you go down. Graphically, the game looks pretty good check back on tutorials and lots of other information. I don't like that. I like a game that gives me the information as I play. Yeah, it does that with the tutorials, but as far as like insight on the enemies, what they're all about, what the hell's going on, I don't want to be reading to narration. I want to see it in the cutscenes. I want it to unfold organically in the gameplay. Because this is starting to feel like, if you don't read any lore, you don't have a fucking clue what's going on. And right now, all I know is that we're an agent. We're part of an organization that's uh, basically cleaning up the United States, protecting the United States from all monster enemies, foreign and domestic. And our father wants us to be a pencil pusher, and he might be dead. View the current objective. 
on Edgar. Yeah, right. What's he chucking like spideys? That doesn't work from the, down there. that shit bouncing around I can't like lock onto it can I drag these old boys oh sweet well that makes it so much more convenient taking them out Fucking kidding me. Yeah, you die real quick if you're not paying attention. And the combos don't really feel seamless. Looks like you can be interrupted doing that because I just took some damage while I was initiating that. See what's going on here. That old boy just keeps chucking McNuggets down at us. Oh, you're kidding. Coming. Maybe I'm just bad, but the combos don't feel seamless. They're quite dull. Uh-huh, okay, so I'm not going there. Clearly, I'm going here, because that's the only other thing that's glowing. Oh, look at that. Bit of nimble puck. Oh! my father still kicking ass last time I saw him old fool thinks he's still in the field listen he wants us to destroy the archives before these assholes get their hands on it you get to it and I'll find Harrow's pampered ass meet me out in front never thought I'd have to blow up my own house hold on pal you're gonna be fine you okay agent just hold on Follow the cables to find the exit. I mean, it, like, it's not linear enough to find the exit. Oh, 
Oh wow, thanks Cable. Would have had no idea. Shoot the uh, McNuggets bouncing around. <laughs> Entomb that fucker in the wall. Oh, I'm trying to dash, man. Couldn't, couldn't dash up there. He was out of bounds. Yeah, it's not letting me dash. Keep pulling down, but... What? Kick to the nuts. Splatted. going to be a little difficult coming back to God of War and switching between these two games because while kind of similar, combat is quite different. Going to get used to one, muscle memory sort of going to forget the other. Warren and great grandfather Dick. To find the tech headquarters, he let the Brits take him captive. Would love to have seen this. Yeah. We don't really care about your great grandfather who found the fucking ticks. I admire what they've done here, though. They've just. You know, taken a world and, and created their own sort of story. Just the execution, I, I feel, is lacking. To really immerse the player in the plot as to what's going on. Okay, yeah, mid combo, you can get totally fucked up. It's not like uh, God of War, press uh, R3 to execute and you're immune. Get out of here. Why was that glowing? Oh, yeah. They're naughty box.
Now to find my father. Overall, not bad, not bad. Definitely not some sort of game of the year new emerging contender. Visually, though, I'm not unimpressed, that's for sure. Yeah, well, Jesse, you don't know. We don't know. I don't know. Can we can we pull him? Yes, we can. He ain't so tough. <laughs> We've unlocked quite a bit, and I'm guessing we can only choose one. Icarus. Killing mid-air enemies has 100% chance of dropping energy pickups. Chaining the next R1 melee combo attack right right when the previous one connects, deals 30% increased damage, makes the next punch faster. Yeah, I just like the way that sounds, so I'm going to get that. I can't get that. Why not? I've already got it. Quake Punch. <clears throat> L1, R1. Alright, you got me. You sold me. Because you're flashing and you want me to buy you so bad. I'm guessing that's it. I could have only chose the one, so... Alright, alright. Oh, these ones are nimble. Come on, kick to the nuts. He whipped the talons out just then. I want him to whip the talons out on my command. <laughs> Thought that said boo-ha for a second. <laughs> Hoo-ha! Fuck off. It's not really that interesting. Because we still don't know what the primary objective is of this world, of this story, where these demons came from. Is this just like a new occurrence? Picking up energy containers will instantly fill an empty battery. Can we backtrack here? Ooh, we can. Wow, we. So you can backtrack sometimes, but there's nothing to really backtrack for. Okay, it's very specific about where I jumped the log. Oh, it's all gone. Yes, I see, I see. We can break this. That's a very important 115 bucks we didn't want to miss. For when we visit the agent shop in our new home. Eventually. Come here. I like this. I like the get over here. Fuck was he doing? It's like having a seizure that one. Oh what? What just happened to our health? Yeah, I'm not really sure what happened there. I must have been standing in a pile of dog shit. Okay, so that one's emanating a heap of dog shit from his paws and... Absolutely nukes us. So when I'm doing that combo, I find it really hard to see, yeah, and like I was saying, you can't actually dodge into enemies, or you're going to get totally, ah, oh, yeah, because that's how we died, huh? 
this one was throwing chicken nuggets from way back where. I like how you can't just stand there holding... Whoa, whoa, again a whole heap of damage. Is that the chicken nuggets again? Oh, we gotta take care of this guy. He's causing too much grief. Oh, wow, again. Oh, man, that is arguably the most frustrating part. I can hardly see them. With the over-the-shoulder camera, I can't tell that there's just a fucking parade of chicken nuggets that I'm going to roll into and is going to eat up all my health on hard. Yeah, i got to take them out. Where's the... Where's the fucking guy? There he is. The one that's chucking the... Yeah, I gotta, I gotta take him out. With him around. Can't get caught in a corner. Oh, he's back. There's another one. Yeah, so life's much better with him going. These ones don't seem too hard. Oh, oh I've got a werewolf. Oh, you're kidding me. I don't know what I tried to do there. Superman punch. Oh, okay. New takedown. New takedown. Something a little different. Dude, we're taking damage and sometimes I can't even tell from where. It's because old boy's back with the fucking chicken nuggets again. Yep, there he is. Oh no, now they got the nightmares. Ah oh, shit, these guys are a pain in the ass. And I'm dead because I got my button inputs wrong. <clears throat> yeah, I got my button inputs wrong. I pressed circle to try and drag him in. I was thinking it's like, you know, God of War. But it ain't. And we're kind of far back, so... Yeah, the game really punishes you in hard difficulty for messing this up. Come on with the reloading. Yeah, we gotta we gotta dispatch those ones with those ranged attacks. Oh no. Yep, there's a McDonald's worker here dispatching the nuggets again causing grave damage. And there's another one there.
Look at that. That was smooth. So it's going to take some time to adapt to the combat, but definitely got to play this in hard. So medium would have been way too easy. I like that. I died a few times. I had to restart. Sort of groove into it. Oh, because it's not glowing. I, I can't step over that gutter. Got it. Guessing this is a boss fight. What the fuck is this? You know, I finally worked it out. Because he appears in cutscenes, I'm guessing. Get him out of here. When you play I this in two player online, he's with you the entire time. Fights we can't win. These demonoids got too much power. The mighty Rentia Institute, choking on ash and blood. I had hoped you'd make it more difficult. Give me a kiss. Creepy, but not. I think we're gonna wrap it up there. We just hit a new yes, chapter. We'll play this cutscene now and call for this one. Move, Gravener! I order you not to let me die like that! Uh, uh, I almost had her. If it weren't for that old wound. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ, don't get old, son. Yeah, yeah, never get married. Now stop blabbing, you're gonna be fine. I know what I'm doing. This is the key, Jesse. Don't let it out of your sight. It's all we've got. It's in your hands now. We need to stop! Stop? We need to get the fuck out of here! We need to find a defensive position to hold us over till morning. Then we head to Calico. could blow this defensive position over with a wet fart. We need the higher ground. And that's where the sun will hit first. I'll get the horses, and we'll stand our ground up there. Okay, got the boomstick, got the shotgun. Game definitely feels like there was a prequel to it because the story is just expecting you to catch on to what's going on. Use it with square when not on cooldown. Heavy hitting. All right, well, we're going to pick this up in part four with the heavy hitting boomstick. Family heirloom. All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in, stopping by. If you've liked these videos so far, this was part three. Let me know in the comments. And we'll keep this series going.